but like this is what I see when women say they want a masculine man, dominant man, a man who's a leader, who mm -hmm. has leadership characteristics, who takes initiative. You want all these traits, but you want to pick and choose. You want the man to be able to turn that shit on with a light switch. You only want him to be a leader in some contexts. In other contexts, you want him to be a good, submissive boy, pat him on the head. Good boy. It's just interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, just don't, I, I, I don't think anything is black or white, generally. You know, things very nuanced. Well, it's yeah. true. Like you, you, I mean, if you want to talk about things like that, relationships, like it, it, it just isn't. But it isn't. It's like no, but it's not. It's, it's two not humans. Or... They're very complex. No, it doesn't have to be just one way or just the other way. Like you have two people. It's very complex. And first of all, I think that like you have masculinity and like feminine femininity. Let's say, and everyone's kind of like there on the spectrum, kind of right. So everyone's gonna find someone that's like complementary to them. No, but so, like you, if you ask most women, like yeah. you, they want a guy to take the lead, to take charge. Yeah. In a dating context, yeah. you want the guy to make pretty much all the moves. Like I women do agree that women are contradictory. I, I agree with that. I, I know what you and mean. You and you want I a man. Oh, uh, like you see these memes. Like I want a guy who's going to say, be ready at 7 p.m. I'm going to pick you up. We're going here. <laughs> Y'all want that. But then you also kind of don't want, like it's, they're totally mixed signals. And then also you say you want a leader, but like you don't want to follow is the big thing. In order for somebody to be able to lead, if you want a man who's a leader, yeah. you got to be a follower. There mm -hmm. is no, we can't both be the leader. You don't think you can sometimes be, sometimes not be? You don't think you can kind of like you, move you around? You can, you can, but... If you want the man to be a leader, yeah. I don't really I think you, you can. Mean. If that's what you want, and yeah. If that's what you like, yeah. yeah, there can be some dynamics like that. Yeah. But if you want, broadly speaking, yeah. and I think women, broadly speaking, want men to be leaders. Yeah. What you're saying is like they're contradictory with themselves. Well, like the thing, you, yeah, and it's I get like it. Yeah. On a sort of biological, evolutionary mm -hmm. level, you're attracted to men who are leaders, who are confident, who take initiative, who are masculine, who are dominant, who have those leadership traits. But feminism has put it into your mind not to be a follower. So you won't be submissive. You won't follow his lead. But you want him to be a leader. You want him to take the initiative. You want him to lead, but you won't follow. Be the leader, but I won't follow you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. That doesn't work. Yeah. Some, if you want a leader, somebody's got to be the follower. And yeah. I can't lead with somebody who won't follow. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that you, you can't. You must not have an opinion. What's that? Sometimes it doesn't mean that you must not have an opinion. Like you're still in a relationship, right? Like I understand your synergy of like followers and 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 a leader. But in any leader follower, you still have, mm. you're still going to have discussions. You're still going to, nope. just earlier you said, no, nope. well, that's just weird. That's just Do not I, being humans. If I, if we I'm, didn't. hold on, if I'm the CEO, <laughs> if I'm the, if I'm the CEO of a corporation yeah. and I give a task to an employee, yeah, it's not the, the, the employee should not be like, so that's how you want your woman to be your CEO and you just No, I'm I'm using I'm using an analogy to yeah. our better articulate the point. Yeah. Um so my no, not a not an employee, but uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. using the analogy because if like, that's she, the, the If she wants me to pay for the first date and do all this shit and be a leader yeah. and she never approaches guys, she wants she wants to be approached, she wants me to take the lead in every realm mm -hmm. she wants me to plan dates mm -hmm. everything then yeah then yeah she must not have an opinion then you should probably listen to what i say but if you, you want to listen it, to ladies the... if you want to start sliding into my dms and hitting me up and paying for first dates and doing all this shit and moving things forward physically and sexually then we can have a conversation about who should listen and who should be a follower who should be a leader I don't, I, don't, until I don't see point. how that equates to, to like, not having an opinion, not, not, like... You, you can have an opinion. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, even I earlier you said, like, someone you. that doesn't quarrel. It's like, that's not a relationship. You're oh, going to have quarrels. That, well, I'm not mm, saying... You always... Uh, the there's always going to be discussions. You're always going to have, like, quarrel. you're two humans. Yeah. No, there should be no quarreling. Well, whatever you want to call it, but, like, you're never going to... 
to want someone who's always going to agree with you first of all i would want to be challenged personally i would want my ideas to be challenged i would want my boyfriend to want to be challenged yeah. so that we can like find because for me okay I, what what i know We're is different, like different though men and women are different they are they are yeah so but you guys no but you are but i mean if you talk about men let's look, say like you talk wait, wait, wait. i got to respond to the okay you want to be challenged in a relationship i don't most men we contend with the world in our lives mm -hmm. right the home has to be our peace right yeah if the home is not our recluse if the home is not our peace mm -hmm. and you're quarreling and nagging and just constant constant conflict yeah because you're challenging us that's I, not a good girlfriend that's not a good no wife. i under well that's the thing that's not a good boyfriend either and i get that because my ex was kind of like that but I'm, I'm saying like you I, you're gonna bump heads heads sometimes you're not gonna sure, always maybe. you know like i'm just saying it's gonna happen but there's a difference between that and like yeah always like creating problems always creating conflicts i get that but that's for everybody nobody wants to be in a relation like you know you don't want a guy like that you don't want a girl like that either mm -hmm. Okay. That's just a given. But you like to just want to someone to constantly agree with you. It's like when you want you you don't want to you don't want to know if you're wrong about something or maybe you have to think something through a bit like further or like maybe there are other options or maybe I will listen. Like, per perhaps perhaps if you don't mind, I would I would like to just ask you two two very simple questions. The first is you yourself personally mm -hmm. would you prefer to have a man who treated you more like an equal or who treated you more like he was in the dominant role and you were to be a submissive follower which would you personally prefer there's no wrong answer yeah i'm not even 100 percent sure because i haven't had a lot of relationships and i've had bad ones so i and i'm being honest it's not that i don't want to answer i'm just not sure what the synergy i would want to be in Okay. So well, maybe let me ask I you the second. Know. Let me ask you the second question. As I understand your answer to the first, that you're not sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think that most men would prefer their women to be in a submissive position or a dominant one? No, submissive. But again, I think what I'm Submit, arguing. Yeah, right. Hang yeah. on. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. I agree. I agree that I think most men would prefer their women in a submissive role. And you agree with me that most would, men would prefer their woman in a submissive role. I think so. Yeah. If that is true then if you look for an equal role where you say okay wait a second we're equals it's not submission don't you necessarily narrow the field of of men for yourself like by an incredible amount right yeah poss possibly yeah 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 so when brian says this it always sounds bad rolling off the tongue because we're so indoctrinated into egalitarianism, we're all interchangeable widgets and everybody's equal to everybody else. Clearly though, you have a bit of life experience, you know that that's not true. Um, so, so the question then becomes, can't you value a person's opinion, but at the same time dismiss it? Can't you say, I value what you're saying, but you're wrong and I'm gonna do this anyway, because that's what's for the greater good of our family. Can't you value an opinion and dismiss an opinion? <laughs> If, if like a message comes in there was something covering about him up, you can go to the split. No, you're good. You're good. Go ahead, Andrew. Go ahead. 